In computing, a character encoding is used to represent a repertoire of characters by some kind of an encoding system. Depending on the abstraction level and context, corresponding code points and the resulting code space may be regarded as bit patterns, octets, natural numbers, electrical pulses, etc. A character encoding is used in both computation, data storage, and transmission of textual data. Terms such as character set, character map, coder set or code page are sometimes used as mere synonyms. However, these terms have related but distinct meanings described in the article. Early character codes associated with the optical or electrical telegraph could only represent a subset of the characters used in written language, sometimes restricted to uppercase letters, numerals and some punctuation only. The low cost of digital representation of data in modern computer systems allows more elaborate character codes which represent more of the characters used in many written languages. Character encoding using internationally accepted standards permits worldwide interchange of text in electronic form. History Early binary repertoires include Bacon's cipher, Braille, international maritime signal flags, and the four digit encoding of Chinese characters for a Chinese telegraph code. Common examples of character encoding systems include Morse code, the Bordot code, the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and Unicode. Morse code was introduced in the 1840s and is used to encode each letter of the Latin alphabet, each Arabic numeral, and some other characters via a series of long and short presses of a telegraph key. Representations of characters encoded using Morse code varied in length. The Bordot code, a 5-bit encoding, was created by a per mile Bordot in 1870, patented in 1874, modified by Donald Murray in 1901, and standardized by CCITT as International Telegraph Alphabet No. 2 in 1930. Fial Data, a 6- or 7-bit code, was introduced by the U.S. Army Signal Corporation in the late 1950s. IBM's binary coded decimal was a 6-bit encoding scheme used by IBM in as early as 1959 in its 1401 and 1620 computers, and in its 7000 series, as well as in associated peripherals. BCD extended existing simple 4-bit numeric encoding to include alphabetic and special characters, mapping it easily to punch card encoding which was already in widespread use. It was the precursor to IBCDIC. ASCII was introduced in 1963 and is a 7-bit encoding scheme used to encode letters, numerals, symbols, and device control codes as fixed-length codes using integers. IBM's extended binary coded decimal interchange code is an 8-bit encoding scheme developed in 1963. The limitations of such sets soon became apparent, and a number of ad hoc methods were developed to extend them. The need to support more writing systems for different languages, including the CJK family of East Asian scripts, required support for a far larger number of characters and demanded a systematic approach to character encoding rather than the previous ad hoc approaches. Code unit A code unit is a bit sequence used to encode the characters of a repertoire. With US ASCII, code unit is 7 bits. With UTF 8, code unit is 8 bits. With IBCDIC, code unit is 8 bits. With UTF-16, code unit is 16 bits. With UTF-32, code unit is 32 bits. Encodings associate their meaning with either a single code unit value or a sequence of code units as one value. Unicode encoding model, Unicode and its parallel standard, the ISO IEC 10646 universal character set, together constitute a modern, unified character encoding. Rather than mapping characters directly to octets, they separately define what characters are available, their numbering, how those numbers are encoded as a series of code units, and finally how those units are encoded as a stream of octets. The idea behind this decomposition is to establish a universal set of characters that can be encoded in a variety of ways. To describe this model correctly one needs more precise terms than character set, and character encoding. The terms used in the modern model follow, a character repertoire is the full set of abstract characters that a system supports. The repertoire may be closed, that is no additions are allowed without creating a new standard, or it may be open, 
allowing additions. The characters in a given repertoire reflect decisions that have been made about how to divide writing systems into basic information units. The basic variants of the Latin, Greek, and Cyrillic alphabets, can be broken down into letters, digits, punctuation, and a few special characters like the space, which can all be arranged in simple linear sequences that are displayed in the same order they are read. Even with these alphabets, however, diacritics pose a complication. They can be regarded either as part of a single character containing a letter and diacritic, or as separate characters. The former allows a far simpler text handling system but the latter allows any letter diacritic combination to be used in text. Ligatures pose similar problems. Other writing systems, such as Arabic and Hebrew, are represented with more complex character repertoires due to the need to accommodate things like bidirectional text and glyphs that are joined together in different ways for different situations. A coded character set specifies how to represent a repertoire of characters using a number of integer values called code points. For example, in a given repertoire, a character representing the capital letter A in the Latin alphabet might be assigned to the integer 65, the character for B to 66, and so on. A complete set of characters in corresponding integers is a coded character set. Multiple coded character sets may share the same repertoire. For example ISOIEC 8859-1 and IBM code pages 037 and 500 all cover the same repertoire but map them to different codes. In a coded character set, each code point only represents one character, that is, a coded character set is a function. A character encoding form specifies the conversion of a coded character set's integer codes into a set of limited size integer code values that facilitate storage in a system that represents numbers in binary form using a fixed number of bits. For example, a system that stores numeric information in 16-bit units would only be able to directly represent integers from 0 to 65,535 in each unit but larger integers could be represented if more than one 16-bit unit could be used. This is what a CEF accommodates, it defines a way of mapping a single code point from a range of, say, 0 to 1.4 million, to a series of one or more code values from a range of, say, 0 to 65,535. The simplest CEF system is simply to choose large enough units that the values from the coded character set can be encoded directly. This works well for coded character sets that fit in 8 bits and reasonably well for coded character sets that fit in 16 bits. However, as the size of the coded character set increases, this becomes less and less efficient, and it is difficult to adapt existing systems to use larger code values. Therefore, most systems working with later versions of Unicode use either UTF-8, which maps Unicode code points to variable length sequences of octets, or UTF-16, which maps Unicode code points to variable length sequences of 16-bit words. Next, a character encoding scheme specifies how the fixed size integer code values should be mapped into an octet sequence suitable for saving on an octet-based file system or transmitting over an octet-based network. With Unicode, a simple character encoding scheme is used in most cases, simply specifying whether the bytes for each integer should be in big endian or little endian order. However, there are also compound character encoding schemes, which use escape sequences to switch between several simple schemes, and compressing schemes, which try to minimize the number of bytes used per code unit. See comparison of Unicode encodings for a detailed discussion. Finally, there may be a higher level protocol which supplies additional information that can be used to select the particular variant of a Unicode character, particularly where there are regional variants that have been unified in Unicode as the same character. An example is the XML attribute XML, Lang. The Unicode model reserves the term character map for historical systems which directly assign a sequence of characters to a sequence of bytes, covering all of CCS. CEF and CES layers. Character sets, maps and code pages. In computer science, the terms character encoding, character map, character set, and code page were historically synonymous, 
as the same standard would specify a repertoire of characters and how they were to be encoded into a stream of code units a euro usually with a single character per code unit. The terms now have related but distinct meanings, reflecting the efforts of standards bodies to use precise terminology when writing about and unifying many different encoding systems. Regardless, the terms are still used interchangeably, with character set being nearly ubiquitous. A code page usually means a byte-oriented encoding, but with regard to some suite of encodings, where many characters share the same codes in most or all those code pages. Well-known code page suites are Windows, and IBM slash DOS, see Windows code page for details. Most, but not all, encodings referred to as code pages are single-byte encodings, IBM's character data representation architecture designates with coded character set identifiers and each of which is variously called a char set, character set, code page, or shmap. The term code page does not occur in Unix or Linux where shmap is preferred, usually in the larger context of locales. Contrasted to CCS above, a character encoding is a map from abstract characters to code words. A character set in HTTP parlance is the same as a character encoding. Legacy encoding is a term sometimes used to characterize old character encodings, but with an ambiguity of sense. Most of its use is in the context of unicodification, where it refers to encodings that fail to cover all Unicode code points, or, more generally, using a somewhat different character repertoire, several code points representing one Unicode character, or versa. Some sources refer to an encoding as legacy only because it preceded Unicode. All Windows code pages are usually referred to as legacy, both because they antedate Unicode and because they are unable to represent all 221 possible Unicode code points. Character encoding translation, as a result of having many character encoding methods in use, many computer programs have been developed to translate data between encoding schemes as a form of data transcoding. Some of these are cited below. Cross-platform, web browsers are Euro most modern web browsers feature automatic character encoding detection. On Firefox 3, for example, see the View Character Encoding submenu. ICONV a Euro program and standardized API to convert encodings, LUD a Euro program that converts encoding of input and output to programs running interactively. Convert Encoding PY a Euro Python based utility to convert text files between arbitrary encodings and line endings. Decode PY a Euro algorithm and module to heuristically guess the encoding of a string. International components for Unicode a Euro a set of C and Java libraries to perform char set conversion. UCONV can be used from ICU4C. Charged at a Euro this is a translation of the Mozilla automatic encoding detection code into the Python computer language. The newer versions of the Unix file command attempt to do a basic detection of character encoding, charset, C++ template library with simple interface to convert between C++ backslash user defined streams. Charset defined many character sets and allows you to use Unicode formats with support of NDRness. Unix like CMV a Euro symbol tool for transcoding file names, CONVMV a Euro convert a file name from one encoding to another. CSTOCS a Euro convert file contents from one encoding to another for the Czech and Slovak languages, ENCA a Euro analyzes encodings for given text files. Recode a Euro convert file contents from one encoding to another, UTRAC a Euro convert file contents from one encoding to another. Windows Encoding convert to Euro.net API, multibyte to wide char wide char to multibyte a Euro convert from ANSI to Unicode and Unicode to ANSI, CSCVT a Euro character set conversion tool, ENCA Euro analyzes encodings for given text files. See also, old code, character encodings in HTML, character encoding a Euro articles related to character encoding in general. Character sets a Euro articles detailing specific character encodings, hexadecimal representations, Mojibic a Euro character set mismap. Majiko a Euro a system that includes over 100,000 Chinese character drawings, modern and ancient, popular and obscure. Tron, 
part of the Troll project, is an encoding system that does not use HAN unification, instead it uses control codes to switch between 16-bit planes of characters. Universal Character Set Characters, Windows Code Page A Euro Various Character Set Encodings Used by Microsoft Windows, Char Set Sniffing A Euro Used in Some Applications When Character Encoding Metadata Is Not Available, Common Character Encodings. References Further reading, Mackenzie, Charles E. Coded Character Sets, History and Development. Addison Wesley. ISBN A0-201-14460-3A, External Links, Character Sets Registered by Internet Assign Numbers Authority, Jukka Corpella, Characters and Encodings, Unicode Technical Report No. 17, Character Encoding Model.